during the first years, we literally were working out of my kitchen with oven mitts, heating things on, a, on an open flame on a, on, a, on a gas burner, and then sea clamping things together. It would take us three or four or five hours to make one piece of cutlery. From those very simple beginnings, Terry Bigsby founded what would eventually become the aptly named company known as Aspenware, a simple product born from a value-added concept that inspired this industrial arts teacher to take a leap of faith and create a product that he knew was just right for all the right reasons. It doesn't use batteries, everybody knows how to work it and you only use it for 10 minutes and you know what, then what do you do with it? If it's plastic, you throw it in the garbage and it hits the landfill and it's there for 100,000 years. This one, you're better off to throw this out the window of your car, you know, not that you would, but you're better in order to let it degrade. It's wood, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt anything. For Aspenware, it is a very important time as they embark on the next step on what may very well determine the future of this company. The interest in this type of product, because everybody eats, seems to be everywhere. And to meet that demand, Terry and his team have come online with a brand new manufacturing line that will take their one-of-a-kind patented process to the next level. Everything here is volume, volume, volume. Uh, so. Nobody wants to change horses from plastic to a product like ours if they don't have that constant source and supply. You know, McDonald's doesn't switch uh, just because it's a good idea. They also have to switch because they know there's a, a consistent supply chain and, uh, and the quality's good. The process is a simple one, but what you end up with is an elegant, innovative, and natural product that is a smart alternative to his plastic competitors in the cutlery marketplace today. It feels smooth uh, and it doesn't take the moisture from your mouth and your tongue. So it, so it doesn't give you that hairy wood taste that, that you get when you get a tongue depressor put in your mouth. But no matter how much success they've seen in the past and will have in the future, Terry is quick to point out that theirs is no typical overnight success story. This isn't one guy doing the job. This is 10 or 12 people all working different avenues and venues, and, and I've got a great team. Uh, mo and most of, most of them have been here since inception. His approach to success, innovation. Nobody ever looks to see how close or how well or how, how it's engineered. They take it out of the package, they use it, and they dispose of it. The innovation behind that is a secret because most people don't understand that it takes that innovation. It is over-engineered, there's no question. It's, it is engineered to the nth degree. Uh, but that also, that engineering makes it a, a pleasant experience. Terry Bigsby, a 2012 recipient of a $10,000 Manning Innovation Award.